He was one of six founding fathers to sign both the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. President Washington appointed him to the Supreme Court. He was born in Scotland and a delegate to the Constitutional Convention, and he spoke 168 times. His name was James Wilson. James Wilson was also a law professor, and Wilson wrote in his lectures in law in 1789 to 1791 that all law comes from God, being divided into four categories. Law eternal, law celestial, laws of nature, and law communicated to us by reason and conscience has been called natural, as by the holy scriptures it has been called revealed. But it always should be remembered that this law, natural or revealed, flows from the same divine source. It is the law of God. Human law must rest in its authority, ultimately upon the authority of that law which is divine. Wilson also said, Far as being rivals or enemies, religion and law are twin sisters, friends, and mutual assistants. Indeed, these two sciences run into each other. The first and governing maxim in the interpretation of the statue is to discover the meaning of those who made it. James Wilson also remarked at the Pennsylvania's ratifying convention in November 1787, Governments in general have been the result of force, of fraud, and accident. After a period of 6,000 years has elapsed since the creation, the United States exhibit to the world the first instance, as far as we can learn, of a nation assembling voluntarily and deciding calmly concerning that system of government under which they would wish that they and their posterity should live. As explaining the will of God, James Wilson described it as efficient cause of moral obligation, of the imminent distinction between right and wrong, and therefore the supreme law it is revealed by our conscience and by our reason and by the holy scriptures. The Supreme Court of Pennsylvania recorded in the records, the late Judge James Wilson of the Supreme Court of the United States, professor of law in the College of Philadelphia, for our present form of government, we are greatly indebted to his exertions. In the third volume of his works on page 122 in the course of his lectures, he stated, Christianity is part of the common law. This is the story of James Wilson, one of the six founders who signed both the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. The story of liberty is on Roku. Add the channel and be amazed. The story of liberty's goal is to restore our liberties by educating in the truth. These stories are amazing and entertaining. Add our Roku channel today at thestoryofliberty.net or in the Roku channel store. In the story of liberty, even though the evil plans of kings and rulers advancing their own agendas seem to be winning, the divine hand of God works a counter plan, a plan of liberty for the people. Add us today at thestoryofliberty.net.